Are you going vintage shopping this summer? Here are my tips for shopping at antique markets. Wear comfortable shoes. You're gonna be on your feet for hours. Bring layers, because you never know when the weather might change. That also means have an umbrella. Sellers are resilient, rain or shine, so you should be too. Pack a small flashlight and a magnifying glass to check for imperfections, or even a hidden maker's mark. And a tape measure to help you size up furniture. Dealers love cash, so leave those credit cards at home. And bring your own bag, or even a cart. It'll make it so much easier for you to transport your treasures home. And it's important to keep your energy up. So pack a water bottle and a snack just in case. When you find an item that catches your eye, compliment the piece and then ask the seller how much he or she thinks it's worth. That way it forces the seller to pick a price and then you guys can work down from there to come up with a final offer. This is a good idea because that way you don't tip off the seller how much you're willing to spend right from the get-go. Then when you're bargaining, be brave but make sure you're respectful too. If your offer is unreasonable, it's likely the dealer won't even counter. Here's an example of a situation I run into often when I go to an antique market. Say I see this necklace, I love it, and it costs $30. And maybe I don't wanna spend $30 on it. What I do is I try to find another piece that's in the booth that appeals to me and try and throw it in and see if I can get a deal for both so that the combined value is something I'm more willing to spend. Maybe I'll get the deal and maybe I'll walk away looking pretty stylish. A lot of people say end of day is when you're gonna get the best bargain. But in my experience, if I find something that I really like, I'm just gonna buy it then and there because if it's something that's really good, it probably won't be there at the end of the day. And last but not least, be friendly because it's good karma and you never know when you might encounter one of these dealers at a market in the future. Do you have any tips and tricks for shopping at antique markets? Let me know in the comments.